Hi guys, welcome. Um, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button down below. And because we're heading into Thanksgiving, what I would love to know is what are you most thankful for? We're going to be doing a really crazy, fun, new bullet journal welcome Thanksgiving spread. And you can get the free printable in the comments below as well. You can just uh, click on that free printable and download it. I did this as part of a blog I wrote with Archer and Olive and today I'm going to be using my Archer and Olive blackout notebook to do this. Um, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to create a pop-up. Um, you might have seen in a couple of videos below that I've kind of gotten into this 3D pop-up vibe and it's super fun. So what I want to do is we're going to create just a really simple Hello November pop-up. You can use the free printable to create your own and I would love to see them. Use the hashtag my inner creative or even use the hashtag the art of Bujo and we can feature that on the art of, art of Bujo site. Really, really fun page. If you haven't tried one before, they're really simple and I'll take you through the steps. You know, really all you need is something that makes a card and something that you can pop up with. Try and keep it as simple as possible to start off with because anything more complex and it might get a little free. So let's get started. All right, so I'm using my blackout notebook here. And one of the first things that I wanna make sure that I'm doing is I wanna make sure that I have my cutting mat ready, my X-Acto knife ready, and I've got my printable ready, ready to cut and ready to make into different shapes. Now, one of the key things that you need to do to make this pop-up work is to find a seam. So that way you can kind of create it like a card and because the Archer and Olive paper is 160 GSM, it is kind of like card already. So you want to find a page that has a seam down the middle and you want to make sure that it's folded really well. The next step we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler and we're going to measure out what areas we'd like to pop up. Now this is really simple, you just need to make sure that they're the same length on either side so that they pop up really well. Let's get on to that. Okay, now that we have created those spaces, we're going to use our X-Acto knife just to cut across the horizontal lines of our um, shapes that we've created. Go through and cut them out really carefully on both sides because now we're going to get to the really tricky part of lifting up the centerpiece. We don't want to damage the seam or else our whole notebook's going to be broken. So be very careful as to how you cut around the seam. You want to make sure that you can get the little pieces of paper up so that they pop. You want them to pop, that's the most important. Once you get them up, fold them on the little seams. You'll, it's naturally going to show you where it folds. Fold it in the middle where the seam is so you're folding it the other way around and you're kind of ready to go. Alright, we have got all of our little pop-up spaces ready to go. For the next phase, which is cutting out our little shapes in the printable, again, you can download that printable below, and we're going to start cutting those out and sticking them onto our little pop-up sections.
All right, we have cut out a ton of cute things to stick in onto our pop-ups. To get our November started, let's welcome in the month with a happy Thanksgiving. Again, I would love to know what you're thankful for, so pop through some of those gratitudes into the comments below, and let's see what everybody else is grateful for as well. It's always great to see. Okay, let's finish off with some gel pens around Thanksgiving and then adding in some extra embellishments around the side. Now we're going to use a little bit of washi tape just to add a little bit more color on the page. And now we're gonna start with the really cool part of sticking in our pop-ups. Have a look at where you want them to be situated. Make sure that they look cute when you pop them up. I'm gonna use my pumpkins resting on the top and I'm going to stick in my Hello November underneath that. I'm gonna use obviously some general glue and we're going to stick that in really simply. I'm going to add a sticker as well, just to make it feel a little bit more um, fall and Thanksgiving-y. And then I'm going to start adding in the rest of my pop-ups. Now that you've made sure they all fold over nicely, oh, I decided that I was going to put my turkey somewhere else. So now that you've decided where everything's going, make sure everything folds really carefully. I've added in a couple of extra um, flower, sorry, leaves as well, just to give it a little bit more zhuzh and a little bit extra washi tape, also to give it a little bit more color. You've got to make sure though that it is folding nicely. So make sure all the folds are working really well. You want it to fold over without too much lumpiness and you want to make sure that it's sticking well. What we're going to do now to hide the fact that there are giant holes in your notebook, we are going to stick it to the back page. This is really straightforward. You're just going to stick it down and go on your merry way. Okay, now that we've stuck everything together, make sure that you firmly press them down just to make sure that they're popping up and sticking really well. Double check that your pop-up is working and there you go. You have got an adorable different way of doing a November welcome page. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.